Okay, here we are in Valdez, Alaska. I normally don't do videos this long, but today I'm gonna do a long format video. All right, there's a quick look of Valdez Harbor. And stuff like that. So I'm gonna give everybody a look at what kind of boats that people run here in Alaska and in Valdez especially. You'll notice there's a lot of aluminum boats. Right now it's the end of the season. Not too many people in here. It is September 8th, 2023. Okay. There's quite a few of these little ospreys. Another aluminum. Hughescraft is a big, a uh, lot of Hughescraft up here. Here's some sailboats, not as many. If you go down to a town like Seward, there's more sailboats in that area. Another Hughes. The 21s are very popular. The sea sports are quite popular as well. For glass boats, that is. Another sea sport. Here's an old Boston whaler. And these here, I believe, are rentals. The wool ridge, built like a tank. Another huge craft. Another huge craft. This is a rental from Valdez Outfitters, by the way. So if anybody's planning on coming up to Alaska or in Alaska and wants to rent a boat here in Valdez, they also do charters. I've been out on their charters. They, they do a great job. Or you can rent a little boat, go run around, have some fun out there in the bay. Outboards are pretty popular here as well. And of course, you'll see a lot of old boats here. This one here is a Renell. I actually had a Renell at one time. Not this one. <laughs> Some people might like them. I did not like it. It was heavy. There's a Bayliner. The North River. Little Sea Dory. These are a pretty popular boat everywhere. I like them. Matter of fact, anybody know information about Sea Dories or anything? Leave a comment. It's a twin Suzuki. Then we got another Sea Dory here. Yeah. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at those. Another Sea Sport. Yeah, so I'm walking down. Yeah. 
Hmm. Got another old bay liner. Of the sea sport. I don't know about down there, but people like to convert the sea sports. Sea sports up here, the older ones have the uh, inboards. A lot of people convert them to outboards up here. There's another Hughes craft. That's the 22. Hard top. Close. Another old sailboat. Uh, aluminum. These here are the Thunder Jet. Used to be sold by Bass Pro, but I don't know if they sell them anymore. We got a bunch more aluminums. Like another 22 Hughes craft. This here's a Kingfisher. Those are also really popular here. Nice little boat. Here goes a little trophy bay liner. Nice little boat. Here's a Spartan. Bass Pro sells these now. They used to sell the Thunder Jet, now they sell the Spartan. There's a mountain range in the back. Valdez sits right there. It's a small little fishing town. <clears throat> you got great halibut fishing out of here. Ling cod. Salmon fishing. People do some shrimping out of here. <clears throat> Personal shrimping. Uh, huge pink salmon run in July. Like millions of them. Early September. Well, let me restate that. Say, um, say August, if you have a boat, you can start going out and getting silvers, silver salmon, coho. If you want to catch them from shore, you can come down in September, early September and catch uh, silver salmon or coho from shore. That's what I'm doing down here right now is I don't have a boat anymore. Hoping to fix that, probably. But if you want to come down and get a charter boat, I suggest a good time is sometime in July, after the lingcod season opens. That way you can do a multi-species, go out, catch halibut, lingcod, and rockfish, like yellow eye, quillbacks, you know, all that good stuff. All right. I'm gonna leave you at that.